Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. What's up, rascals? Welcome to Paul Americum, a game by Ravi Interactive, eh, made on the Unity engine, and, uh... Looks interesting and creepy. Oh, look, tentacles. Other than being absolutely creepy and, uh, and piquing my curiosity, I don't know a whole lot about this game. Other than that, it is still being worked on, I assume, since it's a beta. And, uh, well, let's just find out what's going on here. Let's see, Pearl Americum AG was a German campanile. Campanile, chemical company engaged in research into so-called intelligent materials based on plastics in the 1980s. The company planned to develop variable materials for building and living areas, also materials for the medical field that were suitable for the manufacture of artificial bones and organs. Seems innocent enough. But as we know, especially in these kind of games, the best intentions pave way for the most cruel of endeavors. What are you talking about? I have no idea. In, <coughs> in 1985, the company bought a considerable amount of land to test the developed building materials. In a large-scale experiment lasting several years, the company built a complete small town where work, living, and research were combined. Much was subject to the secrecy to be always a step ahead. I'm not sure that sentence is correct. In 1986, an accident occurred. The city disappeared without a trace and left behind a toxic landscape. All investigations did not lead to any results. Uh, the Federal Environment Agency closed off the area on a large scale. Paul American AG filed for insolvency and the company's executives were charged with involuntary manslaughter in 186 cases. That's pretty hefty. In 2018, 32 years after the incident. Yes. You can count. We can count too. Cool. Years after the accident, the city suddenly reappeared out of nowhere. The area was evacuated within a 10 kilometer radius. A disaster control team was sent to the area. But for unknown reasons, the helicopter crashed on the site. The entire task force had been missing since that day. Ooh. Intrigue! Thank you for reporting to investigate and thank you for helping us. That's two thank yous in one sentence. Uh, why? We hope that you, as an expert on toxic substances, may be able to shed some light on what is happening. However, we would like to and must point out to you once again that this investigation could be extremely dangerous. Yeah, we're dealing with toxic chemicals, of course it's dangerous. You silly botch. You are hereby granted permission to enter the restricted area at your own risk. Note that any kind of mobiles and communication does not work on the site. We are not aware of the reasons for this, so you're completely on your own. Please take care of yourself. Regards and sorry for my bad English, Sylvia Brandt. Whoa. Nasty plastic accidents. Ooh, ooh. Interact and read and can I pick the stuff up? No? Alright. Excuse you! Oh. Oh! Oh! Explodey! This is an unsafe environment for me to be working in. I think I'm just gonna get back in my car and leave. This is not as a Wait, that doesn't count here. <laughs> Explosivo. Lots of explodigo boom booms all over the place. It instantly it makes it put it, 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 it. all of a sudden I can't speak at all. It puts you on edge. Cause things are going boom all over the place. What is this? Is that supposed to be carcass? 
or melted plastic on bushes. I'm thinking the latter now. Cool. All right, no more splody go boom boom as I enter the building, please. Dude, stop that. I literally said don't do that. And you do that anyway? Jerk. All right, what do we got going on here? What is this? I see something that I am, oh, okay. It's a can of, stop that. Seriously, it's got gas. Aha! I have a flashlight this whole time. I could have used it. Information. I would like some information, please. I can jump. I can crouch. Am I going to be hiding from thingies? Because I believe it did say that there are monsters involved. Uh, can I leave now, too? Okay. I'm not, like, fully trapped in here yet. Okay. Ugh. Shut up. Dude. Why? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> All right. Seriously now. Ooh. A plastic man plant. Not cool. Uh. Tentacles. So this is a borderline horror slash hentai. Great. Apartments and some. Hello. What rolls downstairs alone or in pairs? Runs over your neighbor's dog. <laughs> they hate the light. So they destroyed most of the lamps, especially the dark creatures. This underworld produces are extremely aggressive when you light them on with a flashlight. Don't want to end up as a disfigured plastic creature. I want to go back to the surface, and when we actually make it back, I will do what a man has to do. They won't get away with that. All power to the corporations. Fuck it, not with me. Okay. Whatever that meant. Oh, it's locked. Poopy Duke. Alright. More exploring in other places. Are you still moving around? Should I kick you? I'm gonna jump all over you. Why do I hear electricity buzzing? Hello, Buzzy Buzzy. Going to the bathrooms. <laughs> Dude. Hey, a piggy bank. Uh, okay, I just randomly just jumped up this. Do you mind? It's very uncomfortable. Dear colleagues, I clean up your garbage and dirt every day. Changing rooms and toilets and also showers and hallways. All stairs wipe. Without me, everywhere would be dirty. Please leave a few D mark or pennies here. Thanks, Gulkan. Gulkan, did you take pennies? Excuse me, I'm gonna take a dookie. I think they have a hard time dealing with their hideousness, too. They smashed the mirrors. Try and drop a deuce. No? Alright. Probably take too much time to get the uh, hazmat suit off in order to drop said brownies. Okay. Uh. Hello. What is this? This is my toilet now. I will never ever use my bathroom again by the way. Wait, what? This is my toilet now. Somebody is claiming a toilet for no good reason. I will never ever use my bathroom again. By the way, I gave Jay the basement key. He should keep it in his apartment because next week it's his turn to clean up. Hannah. Okay. Hannah, with you with your uh, 
personal toilet. Okay. So we got janitors with piggy banks and and ladies with personal toilets in the public restroom. Ugh, some weirdness. Now, and that's not even getting into the actual scary monster bits. Of which there are apparently plasticky tentacle monsters. Where's my... Where's, why is my flashlight not working? Okay. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if the people up there even know what happened. Hopefully, they didn't declare us dead, but we will soon be if we don't find a way to get back to the surface. I don't want to die down here. This is supposed... This supposed sky and the lack of daylight makes me mad and depressed. This whole chemical plant, the, internal no the eternal noise, and the strange rumble makes me lose my mind. I just want to get out of here. So people were living here after the whole community sunk? Ooh. They still got power, too. What the hooli hula? What does that mean? I don't know. It just came out of my mouth. Oh! Oh! Get away from there! Owie! Everything went splody! Right at me. How do I health? There's got to be something in here that can, like, fix me up. Another peggy bank. No, that's not going to help for squat. Foods? Please? Some kind of... I don't know what that is. I don't care. I... This is... Guys, that's enough. I won't put any more stuff in the basement for you. You can call me crazy, but I get panic attacks every time I go into the storage unit. And these two new guys who work in the lab every day now are also suspicious to me. They don't greet you. Just walk past you like you don't exist. Who are they, Jess? Oh, that was Jessica saying that. Okay. Hey, Jesse, with the basement, I know what you mean since the light in the corridor stopped working. But which lab workers do you mean? Nobody's worked in the lab since the accident last month. I don't know anything about new employees. But these guys come down here every morning through the kitchen into the basement. When I come when I came back from the storage room the other day, I saw them go to the lab. So I thought they were new employees. I I'm, I'm going to confront these guys tomorrow morning. Hello, Jesse, please wait for me tomorrow after your early shift. I'd like to know more. Hello, Rudolph. Can you try to reach Jessica? She came to work this morning, but I haven't seen her since. Could she have... Could she have contacted you sick? Okay. Uh, she called in sick for to her friend or whatever. Oh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm not all bleedy... Ha bad health now anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I didn't even notice. Alright. Alright. So, people were living here after the accident that caused this entire thing to collapse and sink. And then mysterious people decided to show up probably plastic men I'm betting why do I always have to take a shower before I can leave the changing room all this nonsense has been getting on my nerves lately hi I'm gonna hop in here ah dude I was not expecting that Can you not? Also, which... Oh, it's you. Why did you do that? Oh, are you with them? Are you with them? Are you disguised as shower heads? All plasticky and evil? Now I'm just getting paranoid. Alright. Nope. Yep. No. Oh. Something's going thumpy and I'm not very comfortable with it. Can I hide? 
Oh. I'll just go this way. Um. Maybe. Hello. Whoa! Excuse me! That was not cool.